Sometimes when you're really busy, someone has to arrive at the door and ring the door chime insistently. Some of the guys stick to the chime button until the coil overheats and we surely had to come and see who is calling. This is detrimental to a twin bell door chime since the coil can burn up. This simple circuit comes to the rescue by not allowing the chime to ring several times in a row or prevents voltage from reaching the coil for more than a second. The circuit is made up of a diode bridge rectifier, label D, an electrolytic capacitor C1 and a resistor R1. The operation is as follows. When someone rings the bell, the capacitor acts as a jumper for the current until it's fully charged. The diode bridge ensures the capacitor gets only DC current. Once the capacitor is fully charged, it acts as an open circuit, so the door chime is energized for only a second or less, enough time for a normal ringing cycle. The actual time will depend on the value of the electrolytic capacitor in microfarads. When no one is at the door, the capacitor charge vanishes through the resistor R1. The value of this resistor is chosen between 15,000 and 47,000 ohms. This value is also adjusted for an optimal recovery time. Once the capacitor has been fully discharged, the circuit will be ready for the next visitor, who will not be able to apply power to the chime coil repeatedly nor continuously. I hope this video has been useful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.